In this section, we're going to discover how JavaScript can help you modify your HTML document. Now you can use JavaScript to insert new elements, move, copy, or delete them. Now this is a very powerful technique and you'll see it used throughout the web. But before we go any further, we need to understand how browsers parse HTML documents and store them internally. So for this, we need the document object. Now this is one of the window object's core properties and it's responsible for handling all content update requests. So let's take a look at how browsers store HTML pages and the elements themselves within the document object model or DOM. Now this can be slightly confusing at first, but you'll soon get the hang of it. So let's examine a very simple HTML page. We have a head and a body, and within that there's a single article element. Now this contains two paragraph tags. And there's also an unordered list. And within this list, we have three items, one, two, and three. Now within your browser, the document is represented by a tree. Now the HTML tag is the root element or node. And it has child nodes sprouting from it. So the head and the body. Now any node can have any number of child nodes, but it can only have one parent with the exception of the HTML node, which doesn't have any. So if you look at an individual node, let's say the unordered list, we can access its parent, which is the article, and work our way up through the tree to the grandparent and the great grandparent. We can also access its siblings, and these are nodes with the same parent, so these two paragraph tags. And finally, we can access its children. That is the nodes which have our UL element as a parent. And in this case, it's the list elements, one, two, and three. Now trees are very flexible models within computer programming. It's easy to travel around the tree, add new branches, or even break off a branch and place it elsewhere. So now let's look at a single node in a little more detail. So here we have an anchor link, and we'll find it has a couple of attributes and some text. Now the attributes themselves can be accessed directly from the anchor node. So they're properties of our A node. The text belonging to our anchor link is a separate child node. Now all modern browsers have exactly the same implementation. And you should note that even white space is stored as a node within the DOM. Now, older versions of Internet Explorer didn't store white space, but that's rarely a problem because it's simply not available. So that's the DOM in a nutshell. In the next few lessons, we're going to discover more about selecting and manipulating nodes in JavaScript.